You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Prescription for a Miracle with your host and spiritual psychologist, Dr. Julianne Blake. Let Dr. Blake help you break through barriers and access your complete and full potential. You can create miracles in your life, whether it's your health, your finances, or your love life. So please welcome the host of Prescription for a Miracle, Dr. Julianne Blake, and become the miracle creator you desire and deserve. This is Dr. Julianne Blake on Prescription for a Miracle. And we're coming live on BBM, BoldBraveMedia.com, and TuneIn Radio. Hello there. Um, I'm so excited to be with you today. This is a continuation of the Empowerment Series. And I've been focusing on the immune system and how we can develop our immune system. But as I got to last week, and as I told you, we'll review a little bit of what we've covered. Um, We really can't change our immune system, even with all that we have now available to us, you know, external props, incredible nutrition, um, amazing, psychology and mindset tools and those are very important they help people olympic athletes win win the gold they help people with terminal cancer turn it around and become cancer free so the medical community is totally behind the mindset the visualization and psychological approaches to working with cancer. They're also immensely important for uh, overcoming depression and transforming anxiety, which come with, they come with immune problems. They come with serious diseases, all of them. And they come with other experiences in life, loss and challenges. And many of of the pains that we experience as we grow up and as we grow older. So they're very important too. And there are immense nutritional advantages and there are equipment that we can buy that will actually wipe out microbes, viruses and bacteria of every kind, including COVID, out of our environments, completely wipe them out. They're very powerful, and I'm happy to share that with anyone who's interested. Please contact me. You can go to myjoydoctor.com or email me at help at myjoydoctor.com or direct message me. Um, But the main thing today I want to focus on is the power to create our immunity, the power to create our own lives, to direct our experience, to choose what we want and be able to create that and instill it and make it real. How do we get that? Well, we do have that power. We have way more power than we know. And the science to validate that is just coming in stronger and stronger every week and every month right now. It's just so impressive. I'm excited to share that with you. So I'm here to tell you, yes, we do have that power. Many people do. And some don't. 
and I'll go into why. But let me tell you who I am first and why this show is so important to me and why I called it Prescription for a Miracle. So I'll start with that. You know, miracles were usually defined as something we don't think we can do. Only God can do, or maybe saints and angels, um, or, you know, maybe gurus and very, very powerful people that have been gifted or anointed, let's say, with that power, but not us, you know, not just regular old us. Oh, my God. If, if it's a miracle, we can't do it, right? At least according to popular myth. But I want you to know that that is a myth because we are designed to be incredibly powerful self-healing machines and creators of our own worlds and realities. In fact, we are. We are creating them. We just don't always love the results we're getting. But we can change that. And I want to show you how, even if it's just in small tastes and bite-sized chunks, because you do have that power. So who am I to say all this anyway? And why should you listen to me? <laughs> well, you know, I have a lot of experience. I have a doctorate in clinical psychology. I'm not a medical doctor, but I have years of training in functional medicine, which is alternative. And um, it's medicine for health rather than for managing illness. So I don't prescribe anything pharmaceutical, but I do prescribe empowerment. And that's my job. And I also prescribe joy because that will elevate your immune system and your experience of life you know i just i just believe we should all have more joy that's what i want do you i want to live like i'm absolutely in love all the time doesn't that sound great you know we have that ability and i learned the tools to make it. Do I do it every second? No, because you know why? I'm still working on it, and I'm a regular person just like you. But I know the tools, and I use them. And the more you use them, the stronger they get. So really, you can go from taking months to get out of depression. Sometimes it's years. Some people never do. But you can get it down from weeks to days to hours and to minutes. And I'm very serious about that. So we'll, we'll start with some small steps. We always do. I think some of you love that. Um, we do a little, little visualizations and experiences to develop your, well, both so that you know you can and develop your taste buds to know that you can and to know how to start and to know you can get more anytime you want. Again, if you want to ask, no charge, it's my gift. I would love to hear how you're doing and what you want because that'll help me improve the show. I want to give you what you want. So please don't hesitate to contact me at myjoydoctor.com or email help at myjoydoctor.com and I'll be happy to hear whatever you'd like to share and see how I can help you. That would be an awesome privilege to me. So I am going to talk today about the difference between people that they can uh, change their realities and people who think they can't. You know, Henry Ford is famous for saying, whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're right. And it's true. Most of us know that from our own experience, right? Um, so we're going to go into the how to change what you think and how to change your results as soon as we come back from this short break. So please stay tuned. 
What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick. Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy EasySense.com and learn how, with your help, we can fight these horrific brain disorders. That's EasySense.com to learn more and help support the Broderick Foundation. If you seek a courageous advocate, prepare to champion your rights with consumer service agencies that support aging populations, Carol Ann Hamilton is the one for you. Carol Ann is an elder care coach, author, and speaker with a quarter million hours lived experience successfully supporting unculpable aging parents. As a result of a challenging journey, Carol Ann revolutionizes how stressed out caregivers restore serenity to their worlds. She also brings over 25 years of change management expertise in Fortune 500 settings to catalyze urgent transformation within the elder care industry. Carol Ann is a popular speaker at conferences across North America. She has appeared via TV, radio, and print globally. Now you can tune in weekly to get a dose of her inspiration plus down-to-earth advice to cope with even the most difficult aging parents. Listen Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio. Hello, this is Prescription for a Miracle with Dr. Julianne Blake. And we are live on BoldBraveMedia.com and TuneIn Radio. So what's the difference between people who think they have the power to change their lives, their immunity, their reality, their joy, their happiness, their results? And most of us have created our, our uh, it's really a self-concept, uh, our real idea of who we are and what we're capable of, we, we grow up being trained by our surroundings, our caregivers, whoever they might have been, um, parents, teachers, older siblings, caregivers, whoever was around. And they may or may not have loved, supported, and encouraged us. In fact, most children, um, research has shown this, get 400 times as many negative, ah, don't stop, oh, you can't, you'll fall, this and that, as they do. Yes, you're doing great. Wow, look at you. It's at least 40 to 1, and for some kids, it's more like 400 to 1. That's a lot more negative than positive, so... In a way, it's not surprising that we grow up being, you know, afraid. And and the brain is actually, it's geared to look for danger because its job is to help us survive, not to feel good. So it's our job to retrain so that we're not totally just looking for the things to be afraid of and the things to fix and the things that are wrong or scary or threatening us um, because we can't live in that constant fight or flight like ready for disaster um, state anymore it's becoming too stressful to our nervous systems and our immune systems um, so we do have those ideas ingrained, I mean, starting from birth, and it looks like actually before birth, starting in the second trimester, we start really learning what we can handle, what the world's going to give us, and how we can survive. So, um, 
so we have this idea of what we're capable of, and it's pretty cemented in by the time we're seven. And by the time, seven years old, by the time we're 12, it's absolutely carved in stone. And that means, that's why, um, that's why when you go to a reunion, a class reunion, 50 years later, everybody says, oh, you haven't changed a bit. Well, you know, in most cases, it's the truth. They haven't. Their still idea of who they are and what they're capable of and their attitude about the world hasn't changed a bit. And it won't unless we can ask for it. We can, if we're yearning for it, we can choose to investigate and to change and to grow. But it takes a conscious decision. So, so when it comes to creating, changing someone or winning any fight, like with a disease like COVID or cancer or anything else, a cold, um, what your idea of what you're capable of is paramount. It's critical. And um, it's, it's, it's kind of embedded in your basic physiology. It's in your habits of thinking. It's in your concept of who you are. Everybody, um, all of us, what we're capable of. So that's why people generally don't change. Doesn't mean you can't though. It just means that changing takes a conscious decision and an act of choice to change them. That choice often comes out of a near-death experience, a great loss, a serious illness, or a major challenge, something that just challenges us to the core and, you know, shakes you up a lot and makes you really think about what is my reality and who I am, who am I? Who am I and what can I do about it? So unless somebody has made that conscious choice and asked to do so, choice is critical to this process. We have to have that yearning and make a decision for ourselves. Decision is a major process in our lives that leads to transformation. This is what we want, isn't it? It certainly is for me. And I think it is for you, too, if you're here. So just remember, if you have made that choice, or if you're making it right now, you can make it any time you want, no matter how long you haven't done it. That's the past. This is new moment. Reality is only in the now. So you can make that choice at any moment you choose. But we can't do it alone. Wow, we cannot do it alone. That's an astounding thought, but don't you know, lots of people, you might be one that has tried and tried and not done it, at least not to the level that you really yearned for. So we must ask for help. Well, who do we ask? Well, that would be spirit or God or at least our own higher selves or Spirit, soul, if you use, we have to believe in something greater than ourselves. Know that something greater cares about us and wants more for us. Do you believe that? It's an important question for anyone seeking to advance in their development or change their idea of who they are and what they can do to recreate their lives. And make a life that you love living. That's an option. So we have to know we can get help. And we have to know where and how to get it. So let's talk about how. We are going to take a short break. And when we get back, we will answer that question. So please stay tuned. 
Dr. R.C. will share extraordinary resources and services that promote educational success as well as making a difference in the lives of all social workers as well as the lives of children, adolescents, and teens of today. She will have open discussions addressing many of the issues that we face about our youth and how being employed in the uniquely skilled profession of social work for over 18 years has taught invaluable lessons through her personal experiences. She will also provide real-life facts, examples, and personal stories that will confirm that why serving as a child advocate is extremely beneficial when addressing the needs of the whole child. Listen live to Dare to Soar, Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network. Network and tune in radio as Dr. RC will provide thought provoking information that will empower, encourage, and strengthen students, families, and communities across our nation. You can also visit her at soarwithkatie.com. If you're a person caring for someone living with dementia, then this program is for you. It's designed for families and friends coping with the challenges of caregiving. The foundation of care, Susan Kohler believes, is communication. Innovative Dementia Care with Susan Kohler provides strategies to keep the lines of communication open between you and your loved one, increase quality interactions, decrease the burden of daily care for you, the caregiver. Join Susan, 11 a.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network. Susan and her guests will share techniques so you can facilitate your loved one's ability to safely follow your instructions, participate in daily activities, and express daily wants and desires. To learn positive solutions, creative ideas, and practical strategies that will build a healthy foundation of care. We are live on BoldBraveMedia.com and TuneIn Radio. This is Dr. Julianne Blake on Prescription for a Miracle. So the miracle today is how can we ask for help to be able to step into the power, our innate power, to create our own realities the way that we want them to be. So we're talking about how, yes, we have to ask. There's a million ways to ask. We can pray, yearn, beseech, any way that will work. They all work. Sincerity and devotion help a great deal. We have to mean it. You have to know you mean it. You're the only one who truly matters in this regard. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Authenticity is very important to you and to spirit, however you conceive of that. So I've always said you don't need to know how it's going to happen. You don't even have to have immense faith, just a little, just knowing it's possible and being willing to try, being willing to do what it takes. It may take some discipline. It may take persistence. But it doesn't have to be hard or grueling or overwhelmingly difficult. It can be a simple system done step by step that's easy and fun. It can be done with hand holding and with a group for support. It can be very uplifting, as it is in the program I offer. If you're interested in knowing more or studying more or practicing more, please feel free to contact me at myjoydoctor.com or email help, help at myjoydoctor.com. So let's do an exercise. I'll be guiding you. So for a minute, what do you think you are capable of when it comes to your own body? Can you help it heal? Can you give it more energy? Yes, you absolutely can. Do you know how? Well, you can learn ways to do that. There are many, many ways that I teach. And right now, we'll try some, we'll do some. We'll actually have a taste. So one of the main ones, I'm sure you're all aware of Tony Robbins and who he is, and he does something that he calls priming. He's, he's a very active speaker, as many people know. Um, 
And he has people up on their feet moving a lot, way more than anybody else I've seen. Um, but it's very purposeful. And it's not just like um, dancing around, although there's a lot of that. Um, so some he uses actually a lot of what we've talked about and incorporates breathing, movement, and gestures. And they're all really important. And you can go learn uh, Tony Robbins' priming on YouTube. There's a video about priming. But here's what he does. He has people move a lot. He has you get up and dance energetically. It's for your own energy. It's actually to move your own energy and bring up your state into a higher vibration, which is how you manifest what you want. He also has you shout. You can shout your statement. You can make it an affirmation and we'll create one very soon. So he has you shout. You want it to be a very short statement or have different versions of it so that you can use it quickly and easily and, viv and vivaciously to raise your energy level when you're about to do something or when you want a certain result or when you want to change your state as he has people do in order to walk across broken glass or to walk across burning coals. You know, I've done that. You absolutely can change your state in order to safely do that. And um, don't think those coals aren't hot. I've seen it. I've felt it. And I've seen a lot of people get burned. I did get burned, but I also had completely burn-free experiences that were exciting. So we're going to create that right now. We're going to create. Um, he has you choose and create an empowering gesture. And what? think about what would that be for you? It's like a victory. Like imagine you just won the Olympic gold medal. Um, what would you do? You want one short burst movement. So for a lot of men, it's a um, and go getter energy types of women. It may be a punch with a victory fist. Um, for other people, it's just, you know, your arm is up waving like you really just did win the Olympics or something powerful like that. Try one with a triumphant flourish of some kind, like you're just extending you can do both arms wide open, but that doesn't have the the punch, the the energetic burst that we're looking for for you to empower your your whole physiological system. So um, let's see something that you do want it to be something that you're never going to be tired of doing. So make it, you can do different versions of it, but something that you're never going to get tired of doing, like that you really do when you're celebrating a success, an affirmation. Uh, of, it's, an, it's an affirmation of your immediate upcoming win or your great accomplishment. And this will be your gesture. So what does that look like and what does your dance look like? See yourself doing this dance. Feel it. And do it now if you possibly can, if you're not driving or whatever. <laughs> if, you're, if you're home, dance and let your energy, brings your energy up. What makes you feel alive and empowered and super juiced up and experience it in your whole nervous system. It's real as you're experiencing it and imagining it right now, it'll bring you all that you dream and desire. And now we're going to look at what your beliefs are from the past. And now, so how powerful are you? We're going to take a short break. And when we come back, we'll look at the beliefs and we'll do another exercise. But meanwhile, I'd love for you to stay with your dance, your gesture, and your energetic movement 
and affirm whatever that phrase that is your affirmation and we will be right back so please stay tuned Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the Veterans Folk Style Wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the B. BBM Global Network. Author, radio show host, and coach John M. Hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness Unlock Your Full Potential with Limitless Growth, published by iUniverse. Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. This is Dr. Julianne Blake on Prescription for a Miracle. We are live on boldbreedmedia.com and tune in radio. So what do you believe about how powerful you are? Can you change your own destiny, your reality, your body, and its condition? Do you believe you can do it yourself? We know that there are supplements you can take and that there are machines that will take all microbes out of the environment and protect you from bacteria and viruses, no matter what they are, COVID included. Um, more, we've done that in other shows and we'll talk about it again in the future. But, and you can ask for help, we know that. What about affirmations that work? Let's start with the most powerful one, I am. I am is a statement of being divine. What is your idea of your perfect state of empowerment, of empowered immunity, of your empowered reality where you can create whatever emotional state you choose, where you can create whatever reality you choose, financial, loving relationships, what if you were empowered by the divine? Whatever way you choose to see that, to be the creator of your own life and your own reality, what would that be like for you? What would you do, be, and have? I want you to experience that right now and let yourself imagine Remember Einstein said imagination is the most powerful thing in our lives, in the world. So let's use that right now. And imagine if the divine empowered you to be the creator of your own life and reality, what would it be like? What would you be doing? Would you be tasting, seeing, hearing, feeling, smelling? What would you have? Let that come to you right now. 
who would you be? What would you be like? How would you be different with people? What would you be getting? What would you be giving? Let those images come into your imagination and just bathe in them. Let them have all the energy that they need. Let yourself feel, hear, see, taste, and smell. Just like you're really there. It's real right now. Let yourself experience that. Your senses make it real. And then experiencing exactly what it feels like, as if it is real, because in your subconscious, your subconscious mind experiences vividly imagined reality just the same as it does real reality that actually happens exactly the same in your subconscious. So let's have it be true right now. And one of the ways to do that is to bring in emotion. So let yourself feel it as if it's wonderfully true. You're getting what you want. The divine's empowered you to create what you want to have, to be it, to live it, to do it, to act it. Feel the pleasure of that. Feel the joy. Feel the exhilaration. Feel the enthusiasm. Whatever it is for you, let it come in. Let it be real right now. You want that. The more real you can experience it, the more you'll be attracting it. That's what you want, isn't it? You don't want to do things that have no power to help you. Do you? Of course not. I don't. Absolutely. I want what I love to live. So, can you do visualizations or meditations that work? Does the power of your mind make a difference? What can you do with that? Can you trust yourself to win in a battle with cancer or COVID or depression or any other challenge? It really matters what you think. So I want you to define yourself right now as the winner. You're David and this Goliath is nothing to you. Nothing. It's not bigger, stronger, faster. It's not stronger. It can't overpower you. You are way more powerful than any Goliath in your life. You know, David took down the Goliath with a slingshot and a sword, the sword of truth. And the truth is, you have the power. Well, how can you know you can trust yourself? Well, one major part of the answer to this is, it's a decision that you have to make. It's a choice of yours. Will you make that choice? This really matters. It's your choice. It's your option. You decide. And you have the tools. And I will keep helping you learn to use them. So please don't hesitate. If you have any, any questions, any challenges that you're not sure how to deal with, anything you'd like to hear about on the show, please you can share it with me at myjoydoctor.com. You can email help at myjoydoctor.com. I would love to hear from you and to assist you in any way I can. 
no charge, my gift. I want you to know I'm here to support you. I care. I really care. I'm here because I want to teach myself and the world how to be more joyful in every moment, how to have more power, how to create more of what we want in our lives because we can. We can, that's our ability, and that's our responsibility. We are going to take another short break, and please stay tuned. We'll be back with more about confidence. According to the American Nurses Association, there are approximately 3.5 to 4 million nurses in the United States. So where do all these nurses work? What kind of roles do they have? What kind of education and training help to prepare them for so many different settings? What kind of impact do nurses have on patient outcomes? The World Health Organization has announced that 2020 will be the year of the nurse, honoring the 200th birth anniversary of Florence Nightingale. An international initiative called Nursing Now is underway to raise the profile of nursing. The National Academy of Medicine has convened a committee to create the future of nursing 2020 to 2030 that will focus on how the nursing profession can create a culture of health, reduce health disparities, and improve the health and well-being of the U.S. population. Learn more and join Joyce Batchelor on All About Nursing, Wednesdays from 7 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on the BBM Global Network. Have you ever wondered why some children recover from their symptoms of autism while others never seem to get any better? After 13 years of research, Karen Thomas has recovered her own son from his symptoms of autism naturally. She now shares how she did it with you in her free webinar so that you can have the right resources and knowledge to help your child. The definition of recovery is to regain health. Karen offers this to you in four stages. Healing the gut. Natural heavy metal detoxification, balancing the co-infections of autism, brain support, and repair. Register now for this free webinar to help you know what you can do to help your child to sleep better, be more calm, improve focus, and reach their fullest potential to live a happy, healthy life. Go to naturallyrecoveringautism.com forward slash free workshop. Empowering parents with the resources to naturally recover autism from a mom who's done it. Hello, this is Dr. Julianne Blake on Prescription for a Miracle, and we are live on BoldBraveMedia.com and TuneIn Radio. So, we're talking about beliefs and moving into creating our own reality. So, I want to ask you this now. We've done little bits and pieces of visualizations. Um, do you know exactly what you want in your ideal life? Let's take a moment and go deeper into that and experience exactly what it feels like as it is real right now as you sense it. So we know that our subconscious mind experiences vividly imagined reality just as it does real, actual happening things. Um, So what what we want to do right now is get clear about what it is that you truly want. So like I want you to ask yourself this question. What do you want in the area of relationships what kind of relationships do you want and with who who do you want in your life who do you want and how do you want to experience them what do you want to share with them and do with them what do you want to enjoy in your life and how do you want to experience financial reality in your life What do you want to earn? What do you want to do to earn it? What are you willing to do to train or teach 
what do you love doing? What would you want to do, even if you didn't need the money? What would you do for fun and healing yourself and joy? What would you, what would make your life really exciting so you couldn't wait to get out of bed in the morning? What is that, that you just love it so much you can't wait both to do it and to let more ideas come in about how to do it even more in an even greater way. Maybe you could help more people just by doing what you love, not by trying. Trying doesn't work, it's a waste of time. Doing what you love works. So what is that? And when you have images of what that is for you, ask yourself this question. What, why does that matter to me? What is it that I want from having that experience? And see what comes and pay attention to that. It's an important message. And then again, ask yourself, why is that important to me? And what do I want from that? And let the answer come. Let it come to you. It's a very powerful and important question and will take you deeper into what you truly want. And as you see, hear, Feel the answer. Ask yourself again, why does that matter to me? What do I want from that experience? And let the answer come. What would that be like? What would you do and have if you had that? Let it come to you right now. And now, one more time, ask yourself, what do I want from that experience? What do I really want from having, doing, or being that? Let it come fully into you, fully alive. Yes, yes, let yourself experience it now as if it's real. It is real right now. Are you aware of every detail that you're seeing, hearing, feeling, tasting, and smelling? The senses all make it real. Experience exactly what that is right now. Your subconscious mind experiences vividly imagined reality as real. What do you want from that experience? What do you want the divine to empower you with? Let yourself have it right now. Yes, exactly. That is you. That is what you are creating. That is what you have the power to bring into your lives. And it's real and you have been given that power by the divine. So yes, you can do visualizations or meditations that work. You do have the power in your mind to make a difference. Let's take one more moment 
right now to just let an affirmation come out of this experience. You can start with the divine I am and you want it to be in the present tense, just about you. You're the person you can control. And you want to use an active verb, like I'm loving receiving all the joy and the money and the love and admiration that I want. Something like that. You want an active verb at the beginning, in between the I am I. I'm loving, I celebrate my abundance with joy. I'm celebrating my abundance with delight and I'm dancing my love in this moment with my true beloved. You can add anything you want. You can change it or you can create the same one and make it as powerful as you can so that you can use it over and over and remember it. So say it to yourself right now as you make your gesture. In fact, you can say it loud like Tony would have you do and use your gesture. Give yourself that gift with your power. We are going to take a short break right now. Please continue to experience the reality of your design and your choice. And we'll be right back. Dr. R.C. will share extraordinary resources and services that promote educational success as well as making a difference in the lives of all social workers as well as the lives of children, adolescents, and teens of today. She will have open discussions addressing many of the issues that we face about our youth and how being employed in the uniquely skilled profession of social work for over 18 years has taught invaluable lessons through her personal experiences. She will also provide real-life facts, examples, and personal stories that will confirm that why serving as a child advocate is extremely beneficial when addressing the needs of the whole child. Listen live to Dare to Soar, Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network. Network and tune in radio as Dr. RC will provide thought provoking information that will empower, encourage, and strengthen students, families, and communities across our nation. You can also visit her at soarwithkatie.com. If you're a person caring for someone living with dementia, then this program is for you. It's designed for families and friends coping with the challenges of caregiving. The foundation of care, Susan Culler believes, is communication. Innovative Dementia Care with Susan Kohler provides strategies to keep the lines of communication open between you and your loved one, increase quality interactions, decrease the burden of daily care for you, the caregiver. Join Susan, 11 a.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network. Susan and her guests will share techniques so you can facilitate your loved one's ability to safely follow your instructions, participate in daily activities, and express daily wants and desires. To learn positive solutions, creative ideas, and practical strategies that will build a healthy foundation of care. This is Prescription for a Miracle with Dr. Julianne Blake. And we're live on BoldBraveMedia.com and TuneIn Radio. So how can you know you can trust yourself? Well, the answer is, again, it's your choice. Will you make that choice? You can only know by doing everything in your power to create that authority over your immune system, your body, your moods, and your reality. And how can you actually kind of keep it going? Well, you know, you can use the tools. You just created an affirmation for yourself. 
at least one, maybe more. You created a vision of what you want. You created a gesture of empowerment. So the way to keep it going is to use those tools, write them down, and use them with confidence and enthusiasm. Every day, like you brush your teeth every day, you work out. Those are, you know, Olympic athletes practice every day. And, and so do great entrepreneurs, business people, and lovers. We practice with confidence and enthusiasm. So keep the affirmation and write it on your computer, on your computer, everywhere you can. And do the vision and the dance and the gesture. And celebrate your success because emotions empower you. Celebrate with joy and enthusiasm and do it regularly. That's how you make it powerful. And again, please contact me for any help, any questions, any support that you'd like at myjoydoctor.com or email help at myjoydoctor.com. I'd love to hear from you. Be happy to help you. It's my gift. And let's see what we can do. Please come back next week. And meanwhile, know that you are loved. You are supported. I care. Please remember, you are loved. Thank you. This has been Prescription for a Miracle with host Dr. Julianne Blake. Join us each week as Dr. Blake empowers you to discover your miracle. Right here on Dr. Julianne Blake's Prescription for a Miracle. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.